Hey guys, Diver here with Radio Vans, and this is our first episode of Radio TV. Today's video is going to focus on how to build a bike fork mounting plate out of aluminum. These plates are super helpful in your van for mounting your bikes, adjusting them to get the most usage out of your garage space, as well as something that's secure that you can mount to and trust that's going to keep your bike tied down when you're on some back roads. For tools, everybody that's building out a van should already have everything that you need. For safety gear, we want something to protect our eyes, some sort of dust mask, and ear protection. You'll also need a straight edge and some sort of marking device. I use a compound square and a scribe as well as a mark. To make the holes, you'll need a drill as well as the corresponding drill bits for the holes that you'll need to mount your plate to the L-track and your fork mount. Cutting out the plate will require at a minimum a hacksaw, but ideally a jigsaw and a miter saw. Here are the dimensions for our mounting plate. If the slots are more than what you need, feel free to replace them with just holes to match your fork mount. First, scribe out the template onto the aluminum with your compound square. Then using a center punch, punch out your holes. And then I like to trace out the outline. For drilling, start with a small pilot hole and then step up to your final size. I also like to use an aluminum cutting fluid just to make our drill holes cleaner and prolong the life of my bits. For cutting the aluminum, I use a miter saw with a blade specifically meant for aluminum. I also ensure to clamp down the aluminum so that it doesn't shoot off of the saw. You can also use a jigsaw if you don't have an aluminum blade on your miter saw. Using a jigsaw, carefully insert the blade into the holes that you've already drilled and cut out the slots according to the lines you've already got drawn on the plate. If your blade doesn't fit in the holes, you can file the holes out a little bit more so that the blade does fit. The last step that you're going to have building this plate is to sand it down. You're going to want to use a file and probably a sanding block as well just to knock off any sharp edges around the perimeter of the plate as well as buffing the whole piece gives it a brushed aluminum look which is a lot cleaner. Once you've got your plate mounted up to your fork mount and in your L-track you can use the slots to align it where you want. Once you've got it lined up for your bike then you just tighten down the bolts. Once we've got the plate torqued down to the L-track you can see it's not going anywhere and we're ready to go thanks for tuning in to radio tv and we'll catch you guys next time